I'm not a tech geek by nature. I'm not a guy that can regurgitate every fact about every camera, how many megapixels, how many frames per second. But when game-changing cameras come out, cameras that are really going to affect what I do as a photographer and as a filmmaker, then I pay attention. And that's, in all honesty, what the Nikon D4S is. It's a camera that really allows, enables guys like me to spend less time thinking about the technology and more time thinking about the content. The three most meaningful improvements to the Nikon D4S are certainly full HD at 60 frames per second, auto ISO, and exposure smoothing while shooting time lapses. It was really cool to have the opportunity to shoot at 60 frames per second at full HD. A lot of the subject matter that Robert Beck and Dave Black were shooting was really fast-paced action. And when you play that back at 24 frames per second, the viewer really can't appreciate the speed and, and how dynamic these sports are. But with 60 frames per second at Full HD, we had the ability to really play that back in the post process in slow motion and even speed ramp into those situations, making for much more compelling content. We were tasked with shooting a scene where a guy would push his dirt bike from a dark garage out into the sun and then roll it up onto a truck. Now in years past, this was sort of an impossible thing to do. Hollywood crews could do this, but not guys like me. This scenario just blew my mind. We were using the auto ISO functionality of the new D4S in movie mode. And what it allowed us to do is do a shot in a dark garage where the guys are working on their bikes. We follow RJ out. He pushes his bike from the dark garage into the back of his pickup truck. And the camera compensates using an algorithm that's incredibly smooth in terms of exposure. While shooting dedicated, we were really able to rest easy while shooting time lapses because with the new exposure smoothing mode, we knew that at the end of the project, we wouldn't have to spend an enormous amount of time doing post work on time lapses to eliminate flicker and smooth out the exposure. It was done in camera. We were ready to drop the time lapses into our timeline. All of the research and development that Nikon put into the Nikon D4S at the end of the day benefits us, guys like you and I that are trying to tell compelling motion stories. So if you haven't already, go out and buy a Nikon D4S.